Okay. Long day today. We drove out to look at houses. The town we're looking at is about an hour away. So I misspoke yesterday. These were not... Hold on, it snagged. So much for being slick. These were dyed over that yellow color. The orange and the salmon. Or the red and the salmon. The green was dyed over the gray because the gray shows through. Now the gray did fade out, like I said, which I don't understand because like here you can see the gray and then you can see the lighter green. I don't know why the gray faded out because it was just food coloring. See that's gray. And as I'm breaking these up and they're drying it's really apparent that that was gray. So anyway, I thought I would say that, you know, I misstated because I do occasionally. This one has the better you can see it better on this one because you can see the gray really well. I don't think you can see it in this lighting. And then the green and how light the green gets. Somehow or another it faded the gray. But the red was dyed over top of the yellow. The pale yellow. And there's no pale yellow left. Anyway, it was a long day today. We drove out to Salem, Missouri, where we're looking in right now. And the first house we looked at was way away from Salem. It was not in Salem. It was 37 minutes past Salem, even though it was listed as being in Salem. That was out of the question. That would give him an hour and 45 minute commute when there's no traffic. The second house, the house itself looks fine. It's one block from an I-5 overpass, and there is a homeless camp underneath that I-5 overpass overpass and all of the neighbors front back side and side of that house have high fences and keep out no trespassing and dogs lots and lots of big big mean dogs that are not socialized to be in the house this tells me it's not a good neighborhood then the next house we looked at it's beautiful it's on the small side big garage beautiful yard the behind-the-house neighbors appear to have a bit of a clutter problem. Just a little bit. But that's okay, because that's their yard, and there's a tall fence. And that was really nice. Um, we will go back with the real estate agent tomorrow and get a walkthrough on it, and quite possibly put a bid on it. The second house we looked at, A, there was a different real estate agent showing it to somebody else, so we couldn't go in at that point because we didn't have the appointment. Uh, um... Really nice, bigger house, much bigger house, smaller garagey storage section, right up against a mega apartment complex, right behind a strip molly, it's an auto parts store and a couple of other things. Three blocks walking distance to Dairy Queen, that could get dangerous, really dangerous. The fourth house we looked at was not our neighborhood. It, it was not our neighborhood. As the husband said, they look like they're looking... We don't go to HOA neighborhoods because we don't want HOA neighborhoods. And there were neighbors out and about walking and, and speed walking and, and velour tracksuit walking. And, and they looked like they were searching for their HOA and something to file a complaint upon that in the house it's obvious somebody divided a lot in three and put three overbuilt houses on it so the lot itself is like a foot off of the house the lot line not my kind of thing literally you have your driveway and that's it um the next house we looked at there was one more there i don't remember and then there was this huge, old, gorgeous house, okay, huge and old and gorgeous, and, and in our price range for how huge and old it was on a huge slot of land with really old trees and just, just like, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it, uh-huh, 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 except sent the address to the, the real estate agent and she comes back with, they want cash, cash only, they're expecting the house to get raised and a development to go in because it was surrounded on all four sides by developments. That's right. Okay, we can't do cash because we're VA. That pisses me off because we get our loan, they get cash. What difference does it make what our loan is? 
anyway. So that was pretty much today. That was eight, ten hours of driving around from here to there to there to there to there. So, next question. The Westcon's coming up. I'm trying to decide if I should try to dye the tips dark blue or purple. I have some dark blue dye. I have a lot of light blue dye. I have some dark blue dye. I have some dark blue temporary dye. I have a lead black box, dye box, dollar store dye box. And I have a dollar store bleached out completely kit with no color. And I have some professional bleach foam stuff that'll strip the color off of anything. So, do I just try to dye the tips and leave the rest black? Do I dye the whole thing black? Or do I bleach the whole thing out and try to put some blue color in it for Norwescon, basically? Um, no, I'm not going to go buy a, a $15 kit or any high quality color. It's what do you think would be the, the funnest. Or do I just leave it like it is and look like my hair grew out and, and I don't care? Yeah. I'm really, really tired and we have to get up in way too short a period of time because we have to meet the real estate agent out for the other two walkthroughs and she might have a third. So, if everything goes well, we'll be putting an offer tomorrow. That is contingent upon the two houses that we have narrowed this down to right now looking as good up close and in person as they looked walking around. It's amazing what you see when you start actually looking, you know. There was one house where the gutter looked just fine until at the last minute husband glances up and says, hey, check that out. And I glance up and they had taken what looks like tinfoil or a piece of paper and taped it in place to the gutter frame and then spray painted it. And if you looked from the one angle he was at, you could see the tape, and you could see the clear line, and it's not a metal patch, and it's not going to last, and it hadn't rained yet. By now, it's gone. Yeah, people can be shady. Anyway. I will... Oh, hey, what's your favorite Sirius XM satellite radio station? It appears that our G-Plit comes with that as part of the loan package, and we did not know that until recently. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.